question. What is your relationship with Davies? Because is it true that he <laughs> that he put the paws on somebody in they, Boston and you had to get him out of there? Davies cool. That's my fuck with him. Yeah. That's a real fuck with him. Davies dope. You know what I mean? Um yeah, they had a situation in Boston and I used to live my own baby mom from Boston. And um so that's how I used to stomp in Boston, but it's crazy because my OG, when he was alive, he used to stomp through Boston. So it'd be crazy, like, you walk places, you know, your people been, you know what I mean? But, yeah, um, yeah they got us, and a phone call came in, you know what I mean? And um, they was like, yo, I need to get them out there. You know what I mean? Once again, to all my bodyguards who don't know me, I regulate, I'm the n- they're going to call. I'm going to yes. the house is on fire. I'm coming in there. Mm-hmm. We're going to stage it, and we're going to come in with the best scenario and come out of there. And, um... You know, he got in some shit and um, like to other bodyguards. The bodyguard, I think the bodyguard started it though. But it just, you know, when you as a team, you're as a team, so you roll exactly. with the flow. You know what I mean? It was all together. It was all on the clock together. Let's, you know what I mean? Let's just be precise. Yeah. You know what I mean? But um, and they called me and I got him out. But it was like more like a mind um, over matters thing. I didn't have to shoot my way out of it. I just had more wisdom, and um, wisdom is better than gold. I use wisdom. They they came back now. The dudes Eddie Fish and them they came back. I ain't yeah. in front. They came back a couple calls deep in front of the house, um thing. But I already know the business from prior clients. Um, when we do, when we do like All Star Weekend, mm-hmm. they got 20, 30 people trying to go up in the elevator. The client don't want to wait there, or if he wait there, he gonna gotta take like two hundred pictures by the time we get out of there. Exactly. And somebody feelings might get hurt, like you know, it'd be some bullshit. I didn't want to take it on, so we use the back of the hotel and um and go through the the, the um service doors, the elevators that the um the waitresses use. It's not for the public. Yeah. So that's how I got to them out smart. of there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wisdom, I tell you, wisdom gonna win wars. You know mm. what I mean? You say better as a humble man than an angry man that take a city, yo. You know what I mean? You got to be humble. And that's why, like, it's going to boil back down to the basics. I don't care what they say. You know what I mean? They're going to boil back down. But, they, you know, I got them out of that situation. Um, but it was on a professional level. That's when I started to, like, like you know, cause I had mentors along the way. Like, mm-hmm. our job is not to engage. I could have engaged, but I could have engaged, shot this up, caught a case, and Davies is gone. He was on tour. He's gone. Mm. He ain't answering the phone. Not that he did that, but mm. I'm just saying you have to weigh out your options. Mm. You got to know. You know, I know some people that turn bodyguard and they ain't last a year. They f- got to shoot out, shot somebody across the street, kill them, and they're doing time right now. Wow. You know what I mean? And like the guy that trained me, um, Ponytail, he's in Atlanta. I don't remember where he's from. He's a Muslim, but um, he's been in the business a long time. He used to always coach me. You know what I mean? And he's like, you know, be you. Don't over exaggerate and make sure you know what you're doing. Cause he trained me for the sharpshooting when I did the sharpshooting class, and um, that's good. Um, I think we probably like it's crazy. I had to take a to come from the islands to speak out about it. Yeah, you know we probably need a, my other bodyguards. Like you know some of you in the business longer than me. I don't know it all, but I think we should form a union for sure. For us. For sure. Something for us. Yeah. Because they don't protect us. We we chop meat and we all this and we all that. Till we save your ass, though. You know what I mean? Because I'm that's bullet take 11. Take bullet. Take all that. Yeah. That's bullet 11 blood. with me with Jeezy. We don't know how Jeezy would act if he got bullet one. Mm. You know what I mean? He probably would have died and sold like Tupac. <laughs> you know what I mean? I hate to laugh. I'm just saying. This yeah. is what happened. When they die, your music sell. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, we don't know. It's bullet 11. Like, I'm I'm not immune to them, but I know what they feel like. And if I have to make a sacrifice to take some, I will. You know what I mean? But we got to do it for the right person, though. Okay. How do you think Jeezy does feel about your interview, seeing the fact that they're going viral? I know he's seen it. I know you watch him. <laughs> I know you're probably saying, damn, I should have took care of that. Because <laughs> some people is telling him you should have, and some people going to rock his ego. You know what I mean? Some people gonna rock his ego. You know what I mean? Like, um, like the story of John the Baptist when he got his head cut off. He wasn't meant to get his head cut off in the Bible, but the king was flirting with the daughter, his wife's daughter, and he's like, "Yo, dance to me. I'm gonna give you anything you want." And she's like, "Yo, give me John the Baptist's head on a platter." Wow. And he had to live up to that. And that's how John the Baptist lost his head, yo. You know what I mean? It's crazy. I do a lot of reading too, man. You know what I mean? Because this is what we need. Like, all this other 
It's not going to save you. When we step to God, what are we going to tell God? Yo, let me buy my way into heaven or uh, give me five more days. I'm going to do it right. Like, nah, yo, this man sees everything. Mm. You know what I mean? And I'm not like this big righteous person, but I'm just like, yo, I'm about my liberty, yo. There it is, man. Yeah.